And I'm Jeanette. This week we'll be talking about how people perceive us and what we're really like. Um, being in a wheelchair, especially with me and Shimana's condition, that our disability is very obvious, very in your face. Uh, we often get very uh, random. It, people act. We get very random reactions sometimes. Why don't you tell them, Shimon? Uh, we are, some of the reactions are very cool and me and some are sweet. Yes. I, we, obviously, when we go to the mall or anywhere, we get looked at constantly. We get stared at. I've. I've gone to the movies and the guy taking the tickets once just stared at me the whole time. I said nothing to me but just stared at me even while he handed the ticket stub to my PA. But, but you know what I always said to them? Sometimes you gotta they are the one asking what are they looking at so they can understand that you are normal. It's right there. Some people think because you in a wheelchair that you are not normal. Guess what? We're normal. We know and we do normal stuff that everybody else. Yes, Shivana is one to confront someone about it. I'm more of the ignore it type. I, I want to know why you stare at me. Why no one is staring? I don't. I don't care. I just don't care to, you, to come to up to someone and, hey, and hey, you know make you a visual body. I I got places to be, things to do. I hey, ain't got time for that. Well, if they got questions, they should go up to me at the corner and ask them. But if they got questions, they'll come up to me. Because I've had, I will say, kids are different. Kids are... Kids are you, kids. You get, kids are very random reactions sometimes. I've had kids see me and almost start crying from where they, they're they scared. And really? then, yeah. And then I have kids that are very inquisitive and want to know what's wrong with me. I prefer that. I prefer kids that are that want to ask questions. I don't mind kids coming up to me and asking questions. I'll answer them. It's the kids that run away scared that bother me. Because <laughs> I don't know what the heck I did to scare them. <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, kids are, you know, you can, they're more acceptable for the most part. We'll put a video of this one kid that at the zoo he saw us and he kept waving at us. He kept smiling. He was the cutest little boy ever. Yeah, of course, baby, baby. And I, there's a little boy I know that my, one of my PAs introduced me to. And that little boy, he, I swear, he's going to be a heartbreaker because he loves to talk to me like nothing. He doesn't see nothing wrong with me. And that's how it should be with adults as well. But with adults, so, it's not always like so that. Some of them, they, they, they have different opinions of people in the world. And I don't think anybody should have a different, different opinion. Because we just like anybody else. We know what we, the same human beings as anybody else. So, so don't look at these four wheels on the side of us. Look at us and see who we are before you are drunk. Yes, I agree. There are, I'm going to name a couple ways some of the adults, grown up people react to us. There's one where it's almost like a surprise to see us. Right? You've got it that where they look at you like, what is she doing here? Yeah. And sometimes the we are just like, oh baby, we want to we do this for you because we feel sorry. 
Yes, that's the second type of person we come upon sometimes. It's the ones that feel pity for us. Like, like we don't know. Like there's something wrong with us in general. And I tell everybody, ain't nothing wrong with me. Don't feel sorry. If you really want to do something, then let me do it myself. Yes, then there's people who see us and they think we're slow or dim-witted or something because they talk to us they, like we're children. They think they could, they talk for me, uh, they don't talk to us, they talk for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I have a doctor that do that to me and I always have to tell her, don't talk to my mom, you talk to me, but I'm not stupid. Yes. And then there's a, the fourth kind of people which completely ignore us. We don't exist for them. Like they can walk out by, they can cross right in front of us like we're not even there. Even though we could technically run them over. And they wouldn't even notice. But yeah, those are like the main people we come across. And like Shavada said, pointed out, there's even doctors who will react like that. I remember going to a doctor once and telling me, oh no, she couldn't, she couldn't take me on because I needed a specialist. All I needed was a, 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 someone to give me medicine for a cold. That's all I needed. And she refused me, refused to, to take me in because she didn't think she could handle a case like me. So that's often how people see us a lot. And in reality, we're just like everyone else. Well, people need to understand that we are like each and every one of you guys that's gonna watch this video. Yes. We are like y'all, and we are normal, and we silly, and we fun. And we're smart. And we, we fun, and we are smart. I have a PA who's constantly telling me I, I she's surprised with some of my what would you say? How how do you say it? With some of my uh, the way I I interpret certain things or think of think of other things, and it's always nice to hear that because yeah, a lot of people don't think we're that bright, but we are. We have our own opinions. We have our own ideas. And we could do everything you. Well, you I would, I wouldn't say everything, but. Let's not let's not throw it out there like that. We can't do everything, but we do try our best. We like to we like because of the way we look sometimes. People don't think we enjoy going shopping or getting our nails done. Yes. I like to get my makeup done. I like to get my hair done. And I like to party. She does. <laughs> yes, we try to be as normal as we can get with the abilities that we have. And while we are limited in certain things, in others we're not. We are limited, but we not. We are trying to. What was it? My PA said earlier. We we try to. What was it? Um. People look at people think it's a taboo to be able while disabled, but it's not like that. We are as able as we make it. You know, we we make the best of our situations no matter what. I'm comfortable in my skin. Yes, we're gonna post a couple videos here and there of us being as normal as we can be. Like Shivana said, we do like to go to parties and especially together, but sometimes we'll go separately with other friends that we don't have in common. Because I'm a bit of a nerd, I like to go to comic cons and anime cons, especially if there's celebrities I want to meet there. On the other hand, Siobhan likes to go to sporting events with her family and friends and has fun there. The one thing I do the most though is go out to dinner with family and friends and to the movies sometimes. 
something that I haven't done, but Shavana has done quite a, a bit, is go to concerts and music events. And like most people, both me and Shavana have drink alcohol before. Not a lot, but every so often we will social drink. And of course, we support each other and go to each other's try different things that we each enjoy. And I hope when you watch this that the next person you see in a wheelchair or or who might be blind or deaf or any sort of disability that you treat them with the same respect no, you, would, you would treat any no. any family member or any anyone else in, that you in your life no. don't treat them any less than than they actually are don't want to listen you can know who they are yes you have questions go up to them we don't buy questions we prefer questions to stairs. like stairs or or you thinking that we're stupid oh, or Christmas. something. Christmas. I hate people that whisper. Yes, Shabbat does. I, I don't, I, I'm pretty oblivious sometimes. Once I'm in the zone of, say, at the store or a restaurant, I don't tend to notice people around me sometimes. I don't know. I hate people that whisper. And people that try to mumble on their legs and say, Oh, it's a disabled girl. Yeah, I'm disabled somewhat. Yeah, see, and I'm not one to notice things like that. If you stare at me, I'll notice. But, again, I got things to do, places to be. I'm not going to waste my time on people who don't want to get educated on people that, who are different. So, like I said, hopefully you learned a little something from us, from this channel, from this video. And I hope you keep coming back. Cause you gotta have a good day. See you next time. Bye bye.